Hello to our friends at UDLC, our brothers and sisters in Christ. I think Chris and I feel that the hardest part of the pandemic has been not being able to see and hug our kids and our grandkids as much as we'd like. And that holds true as well for our church family at UDLC. We see videos like this, these walks in faith, as one way to share our experiences and send love from our family to yours. So this is our way of reaching out so that anyone with an iPhone or video camera can share their faith stories. We've titled this playlist <clears throat> Walks in Faith and we encourage you to share your faith story with the families of UDLC. The idea of sharing our stories of faith was inspired by Dottie Long. With the online worship, we haven't had the sharing time in our service, this opportunity to give testimony to our faith and to ask for prayers. I remember sharing at the nine o'clock outdoor worship service almost six years ago when I learned that I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. At the time, I accepted my diagnosis and it was most likely terminal and that I didn't have long to live. Now, I remember listening to the doctors and reading the medical literature and then trying to explain all this to Chris. I said, we have to prepare ourselves. We have some decisions to make. And what did you say to me? You kept saying, I'm going to die. And I told you, you are not going to die. You don't know my God. We will get through this together if we hold God's hand. I think Chris was right. At the time, I was more consumed by what I was seeing on the internet and not what I should have been reading in the scriptures. Matthew tells us that with God, all things are possible. So that's what we did. We held God's hand and we began our walk with Jesus together. I was holding tight to Chris's hand too. and She's been my guiding light as we face this challenge together with God. And each week we've been surrounded by the love and support of the families at UDLC, even now when we don't see you in person. And six years later, the tumor remains, but the cancer is not growing. And there is simply no medical explanation for my good fortune. But I know the reason why. God has answered our prayers. Our God is a loving God. Faith, to me, is complete trust in God. It offers comfort and support in a time of overwhelming uncertainty. Faith allows us to choose what matters in life, to choose what is necessary from what is not. We also want to share that last year my daughter and I wrote stories for the Chicken Soup for the Soul series about how families cope with cancer. My story was titled, I Woke Up This Morning, in reference to an exchange I had with a valet parking attendant at the Abramson Cancer Center. He reminded me that every day that we wake up is a good day. Psalm 100 tells us, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So even in the face of this pandemic, each day is good, and God is with us and his love surrounds us in new and different ways. So we would like you to share your story with us. How has your faith sustained you in the challenges you face each day? In what ways has your faith been challenged, especially during the last several months? At the end of the video, we have instructions on how you can share a short five to 10 minute video that we can share with others on this website. It doesn't have to be perfect. An audio recording with your picture would be fine too. We just want to hear your story. So thank you for listening to our story and thank you for sharing this time with us. We're sending peace and love from the Loomis family. God bless. On the day I meet my Lord face to face, what will I say to him? Say to him, I know the words will come to me so easily, like when I pray.